Welcome to Next Game's Ambuscade series, September 2024, against a Hydra. Now this is one of the easier months for well-geared players, with wins only taking about a minute, but can also be one of the more challenging runs for returning players, as there can be a lot to contend with. Now the last time we saw this run was about two years ago, so let's review what it takes to get wins for both well-geared players and returning players as I show examples of how each work. First though, key item acquisition. Now this month you need one dragon kill for your first run of the day, and three kills for multiple runs in the same day. Now I recommend home point warping to Bafflau thickets, where you can quickly find access to many pucks and wyverns to get this key item. Now onto the run itself. So this month's run is against a single hydra, who like most hydras will have access to abilities depending on which of the heads are still alive. Now I find cutting off heads much easier with my well-geared ninja than with my ambuscade-geared ninja. So if you're one of those returning players this month, know that cutting off heads to remove access to abilities won't occur nearly as frequently as you see in the battle example that you're seeing now. Now the abilities that you can potentially see in your run include the following. Borrow Field, which is a 15-foot conal ability that inflicts damage and gravity. Trembling is an AoE attack that can do upwards of 1500 damage to anyone in range and is easily the biggest risk this month. Now Serpentine Tail is a conal ability that will do substantial damage to anyone behind the Hydra. Now this ability is only going to be used if the person with hate is behind the Hydra so you should not see it as long as you're in front and on that right side. Now the next two abilities are only used if the left head is present. The first is Polar Blast, which inflicts damage and paralysis. The second is Polar Bulwark, which will put up a 60 second physical shield. This is what you definitely are hoping not to see during this run, as this is obviously going to delay your run by at least 60 seconds as you wait for this shield to wear off. Now the next two abilities are only used if the right head is present. The first is Pyric Blast, which inflicts damage and plague, and the second is Pyric Bulwark which puts up a 60 second magic shield. Now the last ability is the nastiest of the group and can only be used if all three heads are present. It is Nerve Gas, which is a 10 foot AOE ability that inflicts damage, a potent curse that will reduce your trust and your health to about that 700 to 1000 max hit point range, and also it's gonna inflict a pretty potent poison. Now to make matters worse, all of these attacks will wipe your shadows. So, how do we contend with all this? Well, if you're a well-geared player who can do a 5-step skill chain, I recommend summoning your usual trust and blitzing this NM with as much damage as quickly as possible from the right side. You will often take out the right head quickly, removing the possibility of the fight being slowed down by Polar Bulwark or a Nerve Gas. You should also be able to finish off the Hydra before the second 5-step skill chain completes, making this a quick 60-second win. Now I recommend starting with Migawari up just in case the Hydra happens to sneak in a Nerve Gas before you take out the head, and this way you can just continue with your 5 step skill chain and not worry about the possibility of dying to a Trembling after that Nerve Gas, which is really your only real risk in this fight at this gearing level. Now if you're a returning player with lesser gear, such as you're seeing in the battle example right now where I'm just using Ambuscade gear and weapons, you need to use a few other techniques for successful wins this month. First, you want to be sure to pull the Hydra away from your trust. I like to have the trust behind the Hydra, as that will normally make it so that none of them will get hit with any of the nasty attacks, and you can just focus on getting the damage in while they focus on buffing you and keeping you alive. Now I recommend using Kupipi and Uranoran this month to quickly get any of these nasty stalemates off you as soon as they land. I also go ahead and use Joaquin and Korumoru to cap my haste, and I also suggest getting in the practice of recasting your shadows immediately after the use of any Hydra ability, as they will all normally wipe your shadows. In doing so, you can get them back up before he gets his next run of attacks in, making yourself safer. Now if you're on Ninja, I also recommend keeping Migawari up just in case the nasty Nerve Gas Trembling combination happens, but it should be pretty rare to see this as long as you're using both Kupipi and Yoran Oren to keep those status ailments off you and keep you cured. Now wins at this gearing level will take in the 3-5 to five minute range, but they should be fairly consistent this month. That's about all you need to know to take this month's run on. 
I hope you found that helpful. Now I just wanted to take a quick second to call out that I also have a LEGO custom build and lighting channel and an auto racing channel, so if you have any interest in either of those, maybe give them a peek. Links to both are at the end of this video. Enjoy the rest of the battle example and have a great month everyone.